Hello, this is part one of my like mini haul, or you know what, no, my series called um, Diva on a Budget. <gasps> Diva on a Budget, but I'll think of something better. But yeah, you get the premise, right? So everything, you know, gotta be on a big budget of like minuscule amounts. So anyway, basically, we stop chatting, ball, ball, ball. Yeah, so I got this NYC skin primer, and um, yeah, I just want to test it out. I went to Boots and I wanted to try on some, yeah, MUA. Like MUA, most of the products are like one pound and stuff, but um, yeah, they started to bring it up a bit. So anyway, um, I'm, yeah, how can I put it? Yeah, so basically, the primer that I was used to from MUA was no more. And um, I got that from a different branch. So I thought, let me just try this. This was like £2.50. And it's got this nice shimmer. I tried to test the one there. And you see that shimmer? I think it's wicked. Like, look at it. I don't think I want my face to be shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. But I like it. No. I want to check my receipt. Because, you know, sometimes you go to the till and it's cheaper than what you paid for it. But look at that glitter. And it's, yeah. It just looks so beautiful, my my what colour should I call this? Well, you can see it. But yeah, so that was one. I went to the pound shop or we call it oh night nine P shop, not pound shop, sorry. And um they had some OPI and anyone who does nails and knows about nail polishes knows that OPI is an relatively expensive nail polish. Especially when you buy polishes which are like one pound. So OPI is like you can get them for like ten pounds a bottle, eight fifty or stuff like that. Especially if you go to places like Sally's. I'm sorry if you can hear that, I'm talking with a list, but I got a filling done and it feels like my teeth aren't closing properly. <laughs> so, um I'm not trying to talk or speak any certain way. I'm just trying to speak with this no, this structure. So yeah, I got that one pound or well, ninety nine p, and I got this one. But they crackle. Like if they wasn't crackle, I would have bought more of these. But I'm not really a fan of crackle. Like I might do one or two nails in crackle on my toes, but I mainly bought it because it's OPI. You're not gonna find OPI in Sally's even on a sale for ninety nine p. Are you now? So. I got the red one, and you know what? The funny thing is, you can like overcoat it, like do another coat on top of it, which might cover the cracks or whatever. But yeah, I'm so happy because like I bought five polishes from OPI, and it cost me like probably six ninety eight or something. And while I was still in boots. I got an eyebrow pencil, but yeah, by MUA, and um, yeah, I am team dramatic eyebrows, and I rep, yay, yay, so anyway, yeah, and last but not least, we have a sleep palette, I've got quite a few sleep palettes, probably about four sleep palettes, um, let me bring it out. Right, I won't bring it all out. But yeah, I need to do like a what's my makeup tour type thing, like you know. But oh, yeah, this is. Yeah. Oh, really? I know I've got this sleep so slide. No. Yeah, here we are. But I shadow container and I got some N9. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop. And I got some palettes, but I think there's a big mat, I'm not too sure where the pigments are high. I said pigments. <laughs> pigments are really high. And yeah, um, yeah, I'll go through these in another video. And um, 
yeah I just looked over at any baby for I love that channel you know I get your African groove on anyway so and where are my sleep palettes because I know I've got some like they're stacked up on each other Yeah, when I go to Afro Hair Beauty Shop, I'm always, like, filled with hands full of goodie bags or samples. And um, I ain't lying to you. I have, like, stacks of, um, palettes. I can hear Aunt Jessica outside. Okay, there's one stick palette, but I had them all stacked together nice and neatly. I don't really know where they are, but yeah, in another video, I'll show you all my little sleek palettes and stuff. Bye, bye, lovelies.